Hi, this is Jim Men with Homestyle Southern Cooking. I was out running around this morning doing errands and thinking, boy, the time is just really flying by so quickly before the holidays will be here. The days are just flying by. So today I'm going to bring you um, another cake mix hack that, that you can make in a hurry. I'm sure at all at Christmas time you've had the chocolate crinkles. The chocolate crinkles are like a holiday tradition, um, especially in my house. We've always made them. My grandmother made them, my mother made them, and I've made them for years. Today we're going to make red velvet crinkles. So we're going to start off with just a box of red velvet cake mix. We'll put, that in, put this in my bowl. You know, and with the, the red color and for the holidays, this would be beautiful on a plate with the chocolate ones and the have the red ones next. Okay, to that I've got one stick of melted butter. Let me shake it all this butter out of here. I just can't believe how quickly time is flying by. I've got, I'm going to add to this two eggs. I drove by two or three stores today and so many of the stores have all the Christmas stuff in the windows already. Even here, here and here, you know, in the tropics where I live, I'm, I'm, it's, they're everywhere. So, okay, I've got two eggs in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and we're just going to mix this up. Get this all good and incorporated. I know I love chocolate crinkles. The first time I had one, oh my goodness, I was really, really young and... I had one at, uh, at a friend's house, and, and I went home telling my grandmother about it, and she said, well, we've made those for years. We just haven't made them for a while. And so then um, we started making them all the time. So let me take a few minutes to get this really well mixed together. Okay, I've got this nice and mixed up. You see how beautiful red this is. Now to this, I've got one cup of white chocolate chips. I'm going to pour those right in there with my mix. Then I'm going to stir these in with my mix. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for maybe 15, 20 minutes. I want it to get a little bit solider. And then we're going to actually come back and we're going to make the cookies. So let me get this all mixed up and put it in my refrigerator for like, like 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and we'll make the cookies. Okay, our cookie dough has been in the refrigerator for about, about a half an hour or so. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, I've got a small scoop, and I'm going to scoop out just ball size scoops. What I'm going to actually do then is I'm going to roll them, and I've got two pieces of parch, uh, two um, cookie sheets here with parchment paper, and I've got some powdered sugar. Now I'm going to drop each one of these in powdered sugar, and when I get put them on the sheet, I don't want to see any red at all. I want it to be just like that. I want it to be covered with the white. So we'll do another one. Take it out and we'll roll it up in a nice little circle. We'll drop it in our powdered sugar. Make sure it's completely covered up. And we'll put these about, about two inches apart on my cookie sheet. My oven is set as 350. And I'm going to bake these for about 12 minutes. So, Okay, let me get these all covered with sugar uh, and made up like this. Then I'll come back and show them to you just before we pop them in the oven. I'm making up my last cookie now. And as you can see right here, I knew I looked ahead. I knew that I was going to have more than two trays. So I started another small tray of them. So... Um, this makes quite a few cookies, as you can tell. So, put this one on the tray. And now I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 12 minutes. And then after they get finished, I'll come back and we'll look at our um, red velvet crinkle cookies. Our cake uh, mix hack, red crinkle cookies, are out of the oven and they've been cooling. And I couldn't resist. I, I had to pull out my Christmas platter. Imagine having on that on the table for Christmas for the holidays. It looks really, really festive. You could do this on one side and the chocolate was on the other side. So just pick one at random and, and see. Um, 
Yum, even moist, the chocolate chips. Mmm. That is so good. This is one of the easiest cook re cookie recipes I've made in a very long time. So this is one that you definitely need to try. That's really good. Thank you so much for following me on Facebook and subscribing to me on YouTube. I appreciate your support. I got so many more of these things I want to bring to you and share with you. I'm sorry if I'm a little crazy putting it on a Christmas plate so early, but I just felt Christmassy to me when I made them. So um, I'm going to bring you a lot more things and quick recipes that you can do in a hurry to make this Christmas a very simple recipe, a very simple Christmas for you. Until next time you take care of yourself, I know that I'll send you a big hug and a Merry Christmas early. God bless.